Hey Virgo, this is your Fast and Furious energy check here. We're going to look at the person that you are thinking about, what your angels and guides want to say about that situation, that person, what's going on with you. We're going to look at energy that maybe you don't see coming and we are going to ask that person what it is that they're wanting to tell you or what is it that they're wanting to say to you that um, they haven't yet or they just don't know how to say it. So first we're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anybody else and I'm asking your angels and guides what's going on here. So the first card we have is spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. And wow, twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. That's definitely full of spiritual lessons. Wow. And fate. This is a destined partnership. Let's get a little clarification on that, Virgo. The spiritual lesson, the twin flame journey is not always easy breezy, but it is definitely divinely connected and faithful. So spiritual lesson, I would definitely say that you're feeling like you are nurturing something. I love this card because it looks like he's giving Reiki to that plant. And there's so much going on down here, nurturing all of that, all of those, all of those different dynamics, nurturing all of those different grids that are going on. It's like when you're nurturing something on the surface, it's really hitting so many different layers, so many different levels, so many different bodies. So, a spiritual lesson is in the waiting, but it's also in the nurturing. I get that sense of waiting. I want to clarify this twin flame card. I do feel uh, your guides and angels coming in around you clearly. So I feel like you're getting all sorts of synchronicities. And there's something about the twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. And you're like, how can it be? Because we're not grounded. There's like not this platform to stand on. There's something missing, right? We can't get it together. Or it keeps, something keeps getting in the way of our grounding into each other. And let's look at this fate. This is a destined partnership. That feels like the waiting. Oh, it's like, really, is it? Here's the wish card and it's reversed. It's like, there are a lot of things that are going on that I really seriously am not wishing for. There are a lot of things going on that don't feel like divine connection. The connection itself, though, I feel like you recognize it. Let's take a look at energy that you don't see coming around this connection in the next couple of days here. Energy that Virgo doesn't see coming where it's just blind to right now, what's going on? Here we have pathway. What's interesting about this is pathway is all about, it's like, there's definitely something coming. There's definitely a full circle to this, but this is a long time. This is a long time passing. This is more waiting. And this not feeling grounded into this. It's almost like you have two different lives going on. So how in the world can we even ground into this? It just feels like a waiting game. Oh, imprisonment. It's like we're, we're connected to different obligations in our lives. This is gonna happen, but it's such a long time coming. And there's this feeling of being trapped. Huh. Here is the occupation card. I feel like this definitely could be trapped because of, because of job-related situations. But I also feel like this is obligations, like family obligations. Family obligations, children, maybe different. Like I have to be in this other state for a certain amount of time. You have to be somewhere else. It's just like this waiting game and 
things that you wish could be easier that are not, this isn't my wish. I wish that I could do this differently or be in this other place or, you know, have this free time. All of this though, this longing and this the feeling of not having everything that you want at your fingertips, it's all part of the twin flame cycle. So I want to ask what your partner, who you're thinking about, wants to say to you right now in present time. And they want to say this to you and they're unable to, or they want to say this to you and they just can't put words to what it is that they're wanting to say. What do they want to tell you? What do they want you to know? Obsession and unhealthy obsessive Unhealthy obsessive thoughts are uh, taking up space in this connection. Twin flame stuff can definitely feel that way. It can feel obsessive. It can feel like an addiction. There we go. So your person is acknowledging that they're obsessed with you. Just because it's magical thinking doesn't mean it can't be manifested. That's like you two are sharing some kind of understanding that you can be together in the future it's not necessarily magical thinking but it might be magical thinking and it still doesn't mean it can't happen it feels like the two of you are on that same page there are just other things going on and ooh, discarded you might feel like you've been discarded if somebody ghosted you that's a tough one in twin flame connections and cycles, a lot of times one will try to poo poo the connection. Like this isn't real, I can't do this. It's really out of frustration and defensiveness because they know what it is. But that happens a lot, the cutting off, the blocking, the discarding and then the cycle comes back around. I feel like both of you know what this is. And the road to love is never a straight path, but it's reversed. I feel like somebody is in that part of the cycle where they're like, this isn't, this isn't it. They're just being defensive though, because they know it is. They're saying the road to love should be a straight path. It should be easy. And I've heard that so much. Oh, it's, it, if it were true, if it were right, then it would be easy. And that's not necessarily right. That would be great. But that's not necessarily how that goes. And I wanna interlude in the nude. There's definitely like some absolute chemical attraction here. It could even be like being attracted to somebody that you're not usually attracted to that type of person or to like what they're into or what they're doing or even what they look like. But this person is like, you're, you're chemically attracted to each other. There's some kind of intense feeling. I miss your kisses reversed. Somebody is in, they're like, there's this total chemical connection. And, you know, I'm getting the feeling that there's somebody's storyline here that is like, we know who we are, we know what this is, and we haven't even gone there yet. We haven't even gone there yet. So there's no, there are no kisses to miss because the kisses haven't even happened yet, but there's definitely this intense connection. Okay, but then I'm getting another storyline too where someone is being so defensive, like, I don't miss you but they totally do. True boo baby, I love you. Yup. And get back to you, boo. Somebody's pushing you away, but it's reversed. They're pushing you away, but they don't really want you to go anywhere. Dang, Virgo. Let's look at a possible outcome for this situation. For Virgo, possible outcome in the next couple of days here. So somebody's talking about moving on. You might feel this way, like I'm out of here. I'm just moving on. This is too much waiting, too much time. Somebody's saying that they're wanting to move into calmer waters away from 
all of the turmoil and stress that lovers cause the lovers card. Mm -hmm. I want to move away from this. I also feel like some people are going to be going on some kind of rendezvous, like a, a trip together. It's like a secret trip, it seems like. And then here we have the seven of wands reversed. It's like, we know what we want to do to take care of ourselves, but we're going to leave it up to the universe instead. Huh. It's like somebody's throwing caution to the wind, kind of. So the next couple of days might be exciting. I'm even hearing somebody say spiritual. This would be like a spiritual love connection. And here we have the four of cups, except it's reversed. So this really is accepting a gift from the universe, accepting an offer from the universe. What else do your guides want to tell you? I know it's like, it's like somebody's feeling a moment of weakness. Like they've been trying really hard to follow the rules and they're experiencing a moment of weakness or they're making choices based on heart overhead. Somebody's really saying, this is the king of cups, the in love king. Somebody's saying that they're just head over heels for you, Virgo. Head over heels. Okay, this is what I have for you, Virgo. Let me know how that resonated. Keep me posted and I will talk to you in the next couple of days. Checking back in. Bye, Virgo.